Okay, we're going live. Okay, so welcome to the Node.js Community uh, Technical Steering Committee meeting for September 19th, 2018. Uh, we're following our standard agenda. Um, so we'll start out with, does anybody have any announcements? Okay, so it sounds like we have no announcements this week. So let's move on to the issues that have been tagged for TSC agenda. The first one is 22585, which is how to do feature detection. And I know, Rich, you've been spending a fair amount of time trying to uh, round up the discussion on that. So why don't you take that away? Yeah, so there's two things. And, and actually, uh, uh, Michael is also might, uh, might want to chip in here. Um, but there's, there's two things. There's an immediate urgent issue, and then there's a larger issue and I, I want to make sure we at least address the immediate urgent issue which is that um, uh, there is a version 10.11.0 release set to go out today uh, as it currently stands it will ship recursive maker for the S for the FS module um, it will ship it as an option so fs.maker and then you send an options object that has the right setting and it'll do it recursively. Um, uh, however, there have been people who, uh, including people on the TSC, um, who, who believe that we should not ship that until we figure out how we're going to do feature detection for that and other things. Um, so uh, since there are people who, who object to the release going out as it is, if I understand our process correctly, it cannot go out unless we either achieve resolution here and now, or we take a vote. Um, so as of right now, it looks like if I've understood everybody who's weighed in on the issue correctly, we have um, eight people who are proponents of just shipping the release. Either they believe that this is the right way to do that API and we'll figure out feature detection later or we won't need it. Um, uh, or they believe that it's okay if we need to add, you know, make their P function later that people can check the existence of if that's the way we're going to do feature detection. It's okay to add that as an al alias later and we can have both. Um, so there's eight people of the 20 members of the TSC who advocate for that. As best as I can tell, there are two people who are um, opposed to moving forward with releasing this feature. Um, uh, uh, without figuring out the feature detection issue, the larger feature detection issue first. And then there are two people who I believe are kind of abstaining, like, uh, I don't really, you know, have an opinion one way or the other, or, um, or I'm fine with either. So, um, I don't know if um, Targus has anything he wants to add, or I know James is one of the uh, people who I believe does not want this to move forward. And I also see that there are some people on the call who have not weighed in one way or the other. So it would be good to get their opinion either in the chat here or in the issue itself. So I'll stop talking now. Uh, Michael Dawson, can you let uh, Nikita in? Maybe you can make me a host too so I can promote people. I sure. So, um... With, with regards to pressing, yeah, just to be clear, I, I have no problem shipping the recursive make dir. I, I don't want to ship now with the risk of having to change it, how we do it later. Um, uh, you know, and, and then have that end up being confusing or have us end up having to support two different ways of doing the exact same thing. Um, so I would like to have that question resolved before it actually goes out into a release. We've done that with similar things in the past where we weren't quite sure that the feature was quite ready to be exposed the way it is. Um, so I see no problem doing that, holding off on that now. Um, on the feature discovery thing in general, um, I prefer the release not to be held up while we handle that, you know, while we discuss that. So. What I would like to see is just to have this one feature removed from this release so the release can proceed. Yeah, I did. I was about to ask if they, if anyone had um, submitted a revert yet. I don't believe so. Because that seems like think... the appropriate action to me. Uh, if we have this sort of disagreement and that's dealing with a release, we should probably revert and reconsider. 
I don't think we want to revert because it's it's a, it's it just pull it out of the release. It's it just leave it in master, but pull it out of V ten X staging. I think is the right way. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. yeah, that's so, what I would do as well. Uh, um, I'd like to add something about this. Uh, we have a label that is don't land on v10.x that should be used to block things for from going into a release. And uh, actually, I wouldn't have put the, this feature in the release if the label was on, on the PR. <coughs> yeah. So is there is there still, I guess, James, your concern is there's still discussion as, as to whether it should be done the way it was done or just renamed to make dear P because the discussion in the issue we were pointed to doesn't relate to that because it would suggest that there'd be like an alias for it. Right. Right. So, you know, having both make dir with the recursive option and make dir P without the option is just two ways of doing the exact same thing. Um, and just doesn't make sense. Right. It, it really should be one or the other. That's issue number one. And then the issue of how we discover this thing is, to me, is secondary. Right? Um, so we, I, I would like to see some resolution. Before we actually ship this in a release, I would like to see resolution on whether it's going to be make dir with the option or make dir p. And then I would like to separate the feature discovery discussion um, apart from that. I don't know that it's possible to separate the feature discussion uh, from from the API because um, if it's make dir p that 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 creates an op you that 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 uh, solves feature detection for this for this particular feature. But um, but doesn't solve it in general. I mean, we've had right. um, we, you know, we, there's already examples but, that have been mentioned of other APIs, other options that have been added that don't have this. And we were able to ship those without resolving the the, the feature discovery issues. So. I mean, we, we have feature discovery now, right? But it's ad hoc, whereas we're talking about like a systematic solution for the future, right? Yeah. Um, so is that... Well, so go ahead. And if either of them are talking, they are muted. Was there a question? Yeah, it was. Uh, I'm cur I'm curious if uh, Anna or Jeremiah have opinions, or or Sack the Prion have opinions on this issue because uh, uh, I don't I don't I don't have your position registered in my little comment. So I was hoping to like gather more, um, you know, ship it, don't ship it, opinions, um, so. I'm kind of leaning towards do not ship this feature right now because there's more urgency and let's do this right. I'm sorry, that was do not ship, is that right? Yeah. It seems okay, kind of clear to me that we don't have consensus, so not shipping it seems like the correct option to me. Okay, so this is, uh, this, this is gonna delay the release and I think that um, um, apologies to targets for the, for the uh, yeah, that, that's not a problem for me. It's just that the release will go out tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, and there's going to be some okay. disappointed people, but that that happens. Yeah, I guess it's like where is the is where is the discussion continuing on make dear versus make dear p? Because it seems like that's the one we need to focus on versus the feature detection in this in this respect. I think that's backwards. This is what I was trying to say before. Right. Um, um, I think I think you need to decide how we're going to do feature detection, unless we're going to unless we're going to do feature detection in a one-off way with make derp. Um, but you have to decide how what what is the acceptable way to do feature detection because that affects the API. Because if if the if the most desirable way to do feature detection is check if fs dot 
property exists, then that determines, uh, you know, uh, how we're going to do it here. So there's really nothing different about this conversation versus the, you know, whether we, you know, we, we can't add new modules until we have the namespace thing figured out or other types of similar conversations. So I think at some point we need to kind of have a step back and, and come up with a more general policy so this stops being a, a one-off as things keep come up. Um, I, I, I am absolutely fine if we want to um, say that we won't do, we won't ship Mictor P or Mictor with that, you know, until we get this figured out, but just, you know, it just needs to be acknowledged that this, the feature detection issue is larger than just that one API. Um, and we have shipped other similar things, almost identical types of situations where new options without having this issue resolved. Um, I, I think the line that's being asked to be drawn right now is that we don't ship any more of these until we get this resolved. Yeah. Um, so I would add then that um, the feature detection issue is um, one that based on the conversation I've seen so far in the issue tracker, I do not anticipate consensus. I think that there are definite people who are definitely um, strongly in favor of, of checking for a property and there are people who are strongly in favor of avoiding that, that that is an anti-pattern that that, you know, uh, anyway, I won't get into the arguments. Uh, and I don't think those two sides are going to are going to come together. And so I do think that this means that the TSC needs to actually engage and make a decision. And I don't know that a whole lot of time is actually going to have us like taking three weeks to make a decision is not going to result in us making a better decision than if we just like, you know, do it in the next few days, in my opinion. I think that probably a lot, you know, there's there's a handful of people on the TSC who probably don't uh, don't care is not the right way to say it, but um, would defer to the opinions of others. And then I think that there are people who have strong opinions on one side and the other side. And I think we probably just need to like, you know, have a conversation and then make a decision. And I'd like to like, like agree on a deadline or something. Go ahead, Anatoly. Um, yeah, I had, I had one issue with the conversation in that particular um, issue, I guess. Um, I feel like, it's not very nuanced right now. Like there, there is a difference between some of these features that are being shipped, like, you know, make, make their P versus um, with file types. Um, just the, the amount of users for each of those is substantially different. Um, and so like if our, if our policy or if our solution doesn't, doesn't take into account that there's gonna be those differences, something that's, you know, used by a small percentage of the user base, which is something that's used by like 70, 80% of people, and most modules, um, you know, we're not going to arrive at something that actually makes sense. And that conversation isn't really happening right now. Yeah, I mean, uh, and I would argue that that um, uh, uh, that that may mean that the correct um, resolution is that, in fact, ad hoc discussion each time this comes up is, in fact, the right solution. That some features make sense this way, some features make sense to not even bother feature detection, and other features. You know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, um, uh, it's painful, but it might actually be the correct approach. Um, anyway, if I'm wrong, but uh, there there is a recursive Mukdir npm package currently, right? And so I would imagine that most people use that if they want to do recursive Mukdir rather than rolling their own, right? And so yeah. whichever way we go, it's only recursive Mukdir that that needs to really change, right? Because most people will not want to change; they'll just be happy knowing that that it's doing the right thing in the background. Yeah, Targus uh, summarized that 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 argument in a, in, a, in a in a comment that was pretty well well written. Yeah, I, I that's definitely been brought up. Yeah. Um, so anyway, it sounds like uh, the resolution is that we're going to pull this out of the 10.11.0 release. Sorry, Bone Skull and Benjamin Co. and Targus and Miles and other people who really want it. Um, and I guess uh, the other thing is um, I'm going to be pestering everybody to like drive the feature detection issue to a resolution, even if the resolution is 
we're going to do this ad hoc. Um, I hope that's not our resolution, but, um, you know, it's better than like dithering and not making a decision for three months. So, right. Like, I, I mean, on this specific one, we could, I mean, it seems to be that there's concern that the name, you know, make your P is only a solution for feature de de detection. If you believe that's the right way to name it. Right. Yeah. Let's, let's not get into the weeds on it. Yeah. Let's just, um, let's, let's, let's move on. Cause I don't think we're going to achieve a resolution of anything else in this, in this particular meeting. I think we need to, take the larger discussion back to the issue tracker and um, and I'll be emailing people who haven't weighed in and count, you know, and hope if we miraculously arrive at consensus, awesome. But um, I, I don't think that's going to happen. I think this is going to come down to a vote. Okay. Okay, so then let's move on to the next issue, which is process add resolve swallowed, which is 22218. I don't know if anybody wants to jump in to represent that one. Um, I'm sorry, Michael, what was that uh, number again? It's 22218. It's basically, you know, we had two different PRs, although I think one is closed now in terms of adding in uh, some hooks which allowed right, extra yeah. information about, you know, a particular one of them is about when you multiply resolve a promise. Right. Um, and I so, think I think a bunch of it was around whether there was a warning or not. So I think um, the other one is, is is closed. It looks like discussion is happening on the, the multiple resolves. Now there are still some outstanding um, um, to-do items on it from what I saw in the discussion this morning. So I I think at this point, we just need to say it's not blocked, it's moving forward and just let it run its course through GitHub. So I would have one thing to add and that's that um, <clears throat> Gus only closed the issue because he was not willing to continue uh, rebasing it. Um, so if somebody does feel strongly that the other one is a better one, then that can be resurrected still. And there, there was no official sort of agreement that it should be closed. Um, and also, uh, could we promote Mateo? Yep. Done. Right. So, is everybody comfortable? Like, yeah, it's it's the other one was kind of the process had discouraged the the author of the the, the other one. So, yeah, if anybody still feels strong, strongly, we should do that versus what's there. It's probably worth chiming in. Everyone. Hello. So it's a suggestion we remove it from the TSC agenda and let it run its course. Yep. And if somebody if somebody does feel strongly that the other PR was the right direction, then just opening a new PR um, and noting that in discussion for this one, I think would be enough to uh, kind of um, you know, be enough to get it right back on the agenda. Okay. So unless there's any objections, we'll do that. Sorry, I'm just gonna take it off the agenda right now before we Okay, um, the next one on the list is buffer, runtime def defecate buffer constructor in sync mode. So this is 22584, and there is the related buffer, runtime deprecate buffer constructor everywhere by default, 21351. Um, I think Nikita, you probably want to lead us on those. Mm. Yes, I think that uh, the deprecation uh, for uh, buffer constructor uh, everywhere, uh, which is by default, which is uh, 21351, is very unlikely to land uh, in the next release, but hopefully we can land it uh, in 12. And for the second one, 
I have filed that as an uh, intermediate uh, solution and uh, it's a work in progress, but uh, currently I think that it needs some tests, uh, for example, from uh, Canada in the gold mine. Uh, so I hope uh, that we can have some more discussion with the GitHub uh, once we have better understanding on how that affects existing models, but uh, that needs to be tested. Uh, I would appreciate any help with testing that uh, on mm, models from NPM with Canada on the, in the gold mine or something like that. In, in terms of the TSC agenda, um, does it need to remain on the TSC? TSC agenda or what's I guess sort of like 22584 are you still hoping that that gets into 11.x uh, uh, how much time do we have to decide if it gets in or to get it ready um, the 11x Semper major cut off, um, I'm targeting October 1st. But there's some wiggle room in there. And we could land something like this and we can we can always pull Sember majors out after the deadline. We just can't add new Sember majors, right? Yeah, we can add it with TSC approval. So but if we, we can always pull out, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pulling stuff out is always easy. Right now, I think I do see in the issue there's some opposition, though, right? Like there's at least a couple minus ones. Right. I mean, buffer constructor stuff is almost always going to require TSC <laughs> just because there's always, there's always, you know, there's people who think we shouldn't do it at all. And so, um, and, yeah. uh, yeah, so I think it's going to require a vote. The thing is that currently, uh, I uh, am not certain that I understand how will it affect existing models, and I'm not sure that anyone understands that. So that needs uh, Canadian the gold mine testing, and uh, I would appreciate any help with the testing. Um. So who does a lot of canary in the gold mine testing? It's like, uh, I know Raphael starts it often. Who, who else does it a lot? And I, I kick them off. You know, uh, when I, you know, sometimes when I'm doing landing sprints, but. Yeah, any of the releasers should be doing that, I assume. Yeah. I do that a lot as well. Okay, so so hopefully hopefully someone can can offer Nikita some help. <laughs> I'm willing to offer some help here, but uh, Nikita, your PR is still marked in progress. Is that the case, or could we still already run Canary in the gold mine in the current state? It's a mark in progress, uh, mostly because uh, some uh, I think hooks test fail, and because uh, there is uh, no uh, documentation or whatsoever changes. Also, the code isn't clean; it exposes some things. But uh, it is, uh, I think that it uh, should be enough uh, to uh, start off tests. Mm, mean I mean ecosystem tests. Okay. So if, if I sort of recap, 21351, is it fair to say, which is uh, Buffercate everywhere, you know, is it is it fair to add this comment to the issue, which is discussed in the TSC meeting? Nikita mentioned that it won't make into 11.x, still hoping for 12.x. Taking off the agenda, 
should be re-added when we believe it's ready to make the case for 12.x. Is that uh, fair for that particular one? Nikita, does that sound reasonable Sorry. to you? Could you repeat, please? Sorry, yeah, it's the comment I was going to add was discussed in the TSC meeting. Nikita mentioned that it won't make it into 11.x, still hoping for 12.x. Taking Hello. off the agenda should re be re-added when we believe it's ready to make the case for 12.x. And, and this this is the deprecate everywhere. This is the deprecate everywhere. Yeah, I'm doing. Yeah. Yes, I would, I would, yeah, I, I would. I would. Could you repeat what it says about 12? Because um, it says, do you say still hoping for 12? Yes. Um, I wonder if we ought to uh, be a little less. Um, I say Nikita. That, that, makes, that makes it sound like there's consensus to do this, and I know Anna and others sure believe that we should that we should do right. this in 12, 13, 14 ever. And Can I, I think just we say to, Nikita is still hoping for. Well, Good. I could say Nikita is still hoping for twelve dot x. <laughs> or I can just take out that that part. I'm happy to. Uh, 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 possible for 12.x, maybe something like that, like more non committal. Anyway, I don't want to wordsmith this. Okay, too maybe, much. maybe I'll take it out. Uh, I think it's, it's fine. Nikita mentioned he won't make it into 11.x. Taking off the agenda should be re added when we believe it's ready to make the case for 12.x. Perfect. Okay. okay. So I'll do that. I'll remove the TSC agenda label so we don't get it next week. And then for two one three five one, um, you know, uh, it's it sounds like uh, Nikita is going to get some help to run Sigem, and I assume we just leave it on the agenda and, until we have enough information, you know, that additional information to make a, a decision or to make to have the next discussion. That sound really? right to anybody or? Sounds reasonable. Okay. Okay, so moving on to the next uh, issue, tracking issue for updating TC on board, on board meetings. We don't have miles, no miles, so we'll skip this one. Can I request that we move strategic initiatives to the end and address the other two issues? I might not be able to stay for the whole yep, thing. Absolutely. Thanks. Um, I can always just read the strategic initiative summary in the right. Um, I'm just looking at what the other issues are. The last one is Node.js admin, which is just interactive Node community corner questions. Yeah, so I think Mateo wanted to announce something. Or mm, yeah, uh, that is, we have um, uh, in the there is the community section. The, the, sorry, the, the community corner in uh, at. Uh, at, at Node.js Interactive, we are doing a TSC panel. And uh, because of this, we are asking for questions. So there is a big issue. So you can ask TSC member, the TSC members that are listed in there some questions. I will be running the, I will be making the questions. It will be all, all run, all hosted by ourselves, more or less. And this will be during the last coffee break of the, um, of Node Interactive, of the first day of Node Interactive, so we hope to see you all there. That sounds good. I think this issue itself was probably a leftover from, we weren't quite sure how to handle the the sort of, Tracy's going to give us a, a regular update, but not necessarily every week, but anyway, so that's that's good. Oh, okay, uh, sorry. I, but, but that's I, you. Your update is good for that because she's. We're not doing that, but uh, yeah. And let's let's go ahead and remove the TSC agenda from that. Like, go ahead, Matteo. Yeah, that was uh, that was about it. So yes. Oh, there. It's another one. Anyway, yeah. Uh, I'm really bad with those number with those issue numbers. So as you can see, I mix them completely. Um, so no, it's fine. It's uh, the, the 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 selection is being done. We have an agenda, people have been notified, and uh, it will be published on the main, uh, as part of the conference program as well. So we will have short talks and there will be a nice area where people can just sit there and hack and do things if they want to play with Node Core and things like that. So, yeah. Hey. Eight.
And so, Rich, you mentioned two things on the agenda. I'm looking at the Google Doc, and I think we're at the end. But did I miss one? So, uh, uh, yeah, it looks like it probably was taken off. It's the one to add Mateo to triaging, which I, I assume we're all good with. Yes. You know, go ahead and land it, add yep. it to the email list, all that stuff. In which case, yeah, we're right back to strategic initiatives, and which is perfect because I have to go. Bye, everybody. Okay. Bye. Bye. Um, so I'm just going to open that one up. So in terms of strategic initiatives, uh, so James, anything, I guess HTTP2, you, you were going to remove, right? Just doesn't happen yet. Yeah, I haven't gotten to it yet. Yeah. Okay. Modules, we don't have miles. Any API, I've added there. So really the focus is on async worker, evangelism, examples, and test suite. So you can see our uh, overview. One thing on this, the examples, we are we already have sort of reinvigorated the node add-on node add-on examples and merged all the NAPI stuff into there. So this is a heads up. Um, next is open SSL evolution. We don't have rod workers. Uh, I think Anna, you, you did join. So any update on workers? Yes, I'm here. Um... Actually, we'll find a few things. Um, so one of the things that we did merge this week is inspector support for workers. Um, both, um, so, so for one, the uh, inspector API that we have for inspecting the current, um, current state of the engine, uh, we merged that. And I think, but I'm not quite sure, uh, full inspector support for workers in general for like Chrome debugging. Uh, was merged yesterday or today. Um, and also, Rich has uh, started, uh, has opened an issue on Node.js slash Node um, about the uh, exit criteria for, for experimental status for workers. Um, so if you have anything to, to say um, about that or to add to the list in that issue, um, feel free to go there and comment. You have the issue link handy. I could just add it to the minutes. Um, I'll look it up. It shouldn't be okay. It's uh, issue two two nine four zero. I'll post the link in the chat. Okay. Thanks. Okay. I will add that in. Great. Uh, sorry, just updating. Please chime in. Okay. Um, error messages. I don't think we have Joey today. No. Uh, core promise APIs. Uh, anything new or just the same waiting? Yep, just waiting. We've had some um, some people open PRs to improve test coverage on the DNS ones. Um, and I believe FS, um, it's pretty much just kind of steady state. We want to make sure these are stable before uh, really progressing much further. Before. Yep. Okay. Uh, governance, we don't have miles or rod, new streams API. So Jeremiah, you have an update on that front? Yeah, um, I'm kind of getting stuff ready to be able to demo that at the Collaborator Summit more. Okay. Okay, um, V8 currency, Michael. Yes, so um, V8 7.0 is almost ready. There are just two commits that I hope we can have backported upstream in V8 in, instead of uh, floating the patches. After that, uh, the PR will be ready to land. And I think I will open an issue to, to ask, or, or maybe just in the PR, to ask for landing it before it becomes stable in Chrome so that we can start testing it because that's the version that we will have in Node 11. Okay. Yeah, just uh, let, definitely let me know. I'm, I, I will be watching that one fairly close. What's your timeline on being able to get it landed, do you think? Sorry? 
what what kind of timeline do you think it'll take to get that landed if you can if we can um uh, so if everyone is okay for landing it before it's stable, uh, it can be in a few days. Okay, cool. <clears throat> That's a good time. I, I, gonna do the first test I was going to do the first test build on Monday or Tuesday, so that'll be good. Okay, uh, apart from that, uh, there has been some progress towards fixing Canary. Uh, Raphael Ackerman helped a lot. He prepared a PR to, to fix the JIP files. Uh, it's not ready yet, and uh, I think he's waiting for uh, someone else to, to come and help, because there are issues with uh, with some platforms. And I, I don't know the details, but uh, please have a look if you if you know about chip. Okay. Um, after that is async hooks. Ali, do you have an update on that front? Not, not, nothing major. Uh, the uh, so Yang is back from vacation, and we are at a point where we need to discuss the the promise hooks uh, API changes or performance opportunities. Uh, that's the, the main thing that needs to be resolved at this point. Okay. And we don't have miles, so we'll skip open web standards. Um, and that's the end of that one. So, um, I guess we can ask if there's any questions on the YouTube channel. Can you still stay on for some private business if, you're, if you haven't already planned? And we'll ask everybody to stick around as well. So I, I, is anybody watching or have the uh, YouTube channel open? I do. I did not solicit for questions since there's like three people watching. <laughs> OK. So if anybody is watching, if you have any questions, we'll give you like 30 seconds. Okay, I guess if there's no questions, we'll call an end to the meeting. Thanks everybody who's watched and everybody who, who showed up.